little bit about the ecological aspect of Nature Walk um, and uh, the sustainable nature of it, and and go through just some of the some of the you know the the, the really great things that Nature Walk is bringing to bear to really make this what we believe is an ideal sustainable development platform going forward. Sure, James. The um, you have the screen up on on the on the computer right now um, regarding our ecological commitment, and I'll I'll come back to that at the end. But I just wanted to give uh, people a, a, a little buzz on sustainable investments first, and kind of set the tone for it. Um, it's not not a mystery that sustainable investments are becoming the buzzword in governmental and corporate and institutional investments. This trend has kind of been building over the last 10 years. Lately, it's increased a lot because there's been more focus uh, on the attention to global warming. And global warming has been getting a lot of press and, and a lot of uh, attention, and, and rightly so. For uh, many of us that um, need to be refreshed on global warming, it's basically attributed to the buildup of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere from burning fossil fuels. Chiefly, those fossil fuels come from the activities of industry and transportation, or in simpler words, factories and cars. As a result, you're seeing whole countries now moving towards adjusting their carbon output and trying to achieve or making a determination to achieve carbon neutrality. Carbon neutrality is simply uh, the, the fact of the country absorbing as much carbon as they produce. So you mentioned now uh, about Costa Rica. Costa Rica is stated and aims to become the first carbon neutral country on the planet. And as you said, they'll do so by 2021, their 200 year anniversary. One of the principal ways of doing this is, as you mentioned, planting trees. trees especially tropical varieties. Why does this work so well in Costa Rica? Because tropical varieties sequester, which is basically used, a lot more carbon dioxide. And the reason they do so is they are growing in this tropical environment very quickly and over a 12-month cycle. Now, that's versus trees in northern climates that grow slowly or not at all in certain months of the year. So you can understand that Costa Rica focusing on this because the trees just happen to be more efficient uh, carbon users. So we've caught on to this at Nature Walk. We, we're har harvesting and harnessing something as simple as what we call the power of the tree. And in doing so, we're creating a social and economically friendly and responsible vacation investment model, which supports Costa Rican government's initiative for carbon neutrality and for ecotourism development. But our aim, our aim is not only to be ecologically successful, but economically sustainable. To this end, we've created a complete sustainable cycle that grows the trees, harvests and processes them into tea combs, and produces an economic value. Environmentally, the trees, the teak trees have done their job, and the teak homes hold carbon in their building materials for a very long time, and then this whole process repeats again. The, trees, the teak trees regrow, renewing the cycle. So summarizing, James, we've taken the sustainability idea one giant step forward, incorporating good investment, vacation use, and local economic benefits to Costa Ricans that are continuous. The result, we feel, is a, is a responsible model for future development in tropical tourism areas. We hope others will incorporate these ideas elsewhere. So that's a, that's a quick primer on the sustainability of, of Nature Walk and our model. Great, great. Ecological commitment on site is, um, as is on the model screen, 20% uh, of Nature Walk from the beginning will be left in a natural preserve not to be touched. In addition, um, our ecolo ecological program 
requires that 50% of the area of the development real estate itself remain treed and forever protected. That means that we're going to see in the future a very green platform within Nature Walk and, and continuously uh, continuous sustainable cycle. Number three, we're, pro we're promoting conservation and eco-friendly practices and, and those um, include advanced uh, echo remediation for on-site um, uh, discharge um, and, and other, other manners as well. Our tree planting initiative is the fourth point in our ecological amendment. And if you remember the 50% of the area that we don't have a control for development, we're proposing to plant new trees off-site to make up for that.